Hey everybody, happy Thursday, August 25th, 2022. We're out here at a Burger King today. In fact, I was gonna do some filming inside the Burger King, but I wasn't expecting it to be as busy as it is. I mean, granted it is maybe around 12.30 in the afternoon, so it is the lunchtime. People, I mean, there's a lot, of, a lot of work trucks here. People are actually out enjoying their lunch right now, so I get it, I understand, but I don't know, for some reason, I always just assume because it's a, a weekday, nobody will be out doing anything. Everybody's gonna be at work, but I guess some of these people, again, are at work. They're just enjoying their lunch right now. So we're not gonna be filming inside here, unfortunately. But the reason why we're at a Burger King today is because today is another very important national holiday. Today is is, is daily, no, well, for me, for me, it's a daily day because I love me a hamburger, but today is National Burger Day. Not to be confused with National Hamburger Day, which is May 28th. That is a completely different national holiday. In fact, we love our burgers here in the United States so much that we have to have a National Hamburger Day and today a National Burger Day. And I do believe the 28th of May is actually International Hamburger Day as well. So if you're international and you love a good hamburger, you can enjoy a hamburger as well on International Hamburger Day. But again, today is National Burger Day, which is awesome. I eat burgers all the time. I always say that pizza is my all time favorite food, but I think I'm gonna change that now and say a hamburger is my all time favorite food because I eat hamburgers a heck of a lot more than I eat pizza. And honestly, it's getting to the point in my life now where pizza doesn't really um, agree with me much anymore. Every time I eat pizza afterwards, I feel horrible. I don't know if it's the grease or the cheese or what, but in my old age, pizza, just as much as I love it, as, as enjoyable as it is, as, as delicious as it is, it just doesn't agree with me anymore. And I eat a lot of hamburgers, almost daily. I eat hamburgers. I love a good burger. So. I'm gonna say hamburgers, my all-time favorite food. Gonna say it now, changing it up. Burgers, my all-time favorite food. So this Burger King here is actually a very special Burger King to me because my great aunt, I know I bring my great aunt up a lot in these videos and these vlogs because my great aunt was actually a very special person to me growing up. She used to babysit us a lot. Anytime we were sick, she would watch us. Anytime my parents would go out of town or have a, a wedding to go to or some kind of function to attend, she was pretty much the one who would always babysit us. And she used to take us all kinds of places, do all kinds of stuff. And we pretty much knew if we were going to see my great aunt, we were going to eat fast food. And nine times out of 10, it was, well, sometimes at McDonald's, but honestly, I think Burger King was our go-to. And she used to take us to this Burger King all the time. She would sit right in here in this awesome, like very retro, I'm thinking like 80s or something, sort of glass um, area right here, this, this glass area. She would sit right here. She would sit on one of those tables. She would play her uh, I was gonna say play her phone, it's not a phone. She actually used to have a booklet of um, crossword puzzles. She used to play her crossword puzzles in her book, do her crossword puzzles in her book. She would sit right there. My brother and I would come out right here in this, what is now a grass field. This did not used to be a grass field. This actually used to be a playground back in the day. It wasn't a very big playground, as you can see. It was just this area right here. It was fenced in, but there was a playground right here. I remember there was a, like some things you could crawl through. There was a um, bridge you could go across. There were some slides and whatnot. We used to come out here. We used to play on this playground all the time. I remember our big thing to do was to climb as high as we possibly could on it. I'm surprised we never got yelled at. I'm surprised we never fell off. I'm surprised we never got hurt. We used to climb on top of this thing all the way to the very, very top. We used to stand on top of like metal poles and all kinds of things you were not supposed to do, but that was how we had fun on the playground here. We didn't really go through the, the slides and, the, and the, the, the tubes and all that stuff. We used to just climb on them and try not to kill ourselves. I'm surprised we actually never did get hurt falling off any of that stuff. But that's what we used to do. We used to play right here in the playground that unfortunately no longer exists. In fact, a lot of the Burger Kings in my area, I don't know about your guys' area, leave a comment down below, but a lot of the Burger Kings in my area actually got rid of all their playgrounds. There was one a couple towns over, they got rid of their playground. This one got rid of their playground. I believe some of the other ones in my area also got rid of their playgrounds. Let me know if your Burger King still has a playground. If it does, definitely take a picture and tag me in it at What's With Dave Today on Instagram. I would love to see that. So my aunt would sit in there, we would, we would, eat, her, we would eat her food together, then she would sit in there with her crosser puzzles. My brother and I would come out here for a good hour or so. My aunt was the best. We'd come out here for a good hour or so and play on the playground and have a ton of fun doing that, trying not to get killed. So that was what we used to do here. I love this Burger King. This Burger King is very special to me. Again, I wanted to show you guys the inside of this place just because it is so sort of kind of retro. It has a very 90s sort of feel. There's actually this really tiny little like kids table. I remember my brother and I eating at that table is still in there. It's a, it's a kind of normal sized table, but it's, um, well, it, lo it's, um, it looks like a normal table, but it's shrunk down to kid size. That's somewhere we used to sit all the time and eat. 
It was awesome. So this Burger King holds a very special place in my heart and Burger King holds a very special place in my heart because I love me a good burger. We're actually here with Vanabelle today, as you can see. So we're gonna go inside. We're gonna enjoy a burger. Should I go in the, I guess I'll go in the back. I don't know. I have no idea why I'm going to the side door. I feel like I should be cranking the air today because it's kind of warm out. Very, very hot on this Thursday. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday, by the way. If you guys are having a fun National Burger Day, leave a comment down below. Let me close the door here. There we go. We're inside Vanabelle now. I'm gonna get you guys put up here on the, on the holder. Whew, it is warm. We're gonna crank the AC as well because it is very warm today on this National Burger Day. There we go. The air's blowing, the air's going. Feels good. So um, Burger King, I would say, has to be also my all-time favorite fast food burger joint. I, I, do, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, um, I like McDonald's. I eat McDonald's occasionally, but I find that like a lot of times, there's, there's always something, every video, there's always something on my shirt. I don't know what's on me. It won't even come off. Look at that. I have no idea what that is. Doesn't matter. All kinds of dust flying around here. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, so Burger King, I have to say, is my all-time favorite burger, uh, fast food burger joint. I love me some uh, some Burger King. Again, I, I go to McDonald's occasionally. Wendy's, I like never eat at anymore because I just don't really like Wendy's. And I'm trying to think of what else there is. There's Sonic. Sonic, I've kind of gotten sick of their hamburgers as well. I don't really eat at Sonic anymore for hamburgers. I get their chicken, um, their popcorn chicken now, and sometimes their... Um, they're amazing French toast sticks. So I got those at Sonic, but I don't really eat burgers at Sonic anymore. And that's kind of it for fast food burger places around here. We don't have a, a Big Boy. We don't have a Hardee's. We don't have um, anything like that. We do have places like Five Guys and whatnot, but that's, I don't, I, they're like a notch up, I would say from, uh, from um, fast food. They're like the next step up from fast food. I was actually gonna go to a Five Guys today, but decided not to, because that's a little bit of a drive away. So um, yeah, Burger King, my go-to. Burger King's always my, like if I'm thinking, man, I want a burger, but I want a fast food burger, and there's a Burger King nearby, and I have a choice between Burger King, McDonald's, Wendy's, whatever, I'm gonna go with Burger King. That's where I'm getting my burger from. And today, I got myself, I got myself a burger for National Burger Day. Again, not to be confused, but National Hamburger Day, because that is a completely different holiday that in May, we will most likely be celebrating. And yes, I got a burger here. <gasps> Plain, nothing on it. I know. Some people give me a hard time about the way I eat my burgers, the fact that I eat them plain, I don't like anything on them, but I feel a good burger does not need anything. Um, that's just how I feel. It's a, it's a burger. Uh, if, you, if your burger's good, you don't need stuff. If, if you have lettuce and tomato and ketchup and mustard and pickles and relish and, and cheese and all that stuff on a burger, then you, you're, you're tasting all that other stuff. I, I think a good burger, that's all you need. A good burger and a good bun is all you need. And that's probably why I like Burger King the most because their burgers are flame broiled, which gives it that, that kind of grilled taste. And mm, that is good. <laughs> I love the grilled taste of a Burger King hamburger. They're so awesome. And yes, I know. I got a Coke. It is what it is. I'm trying to wean myself off of Coke because it's so bad for you. I'm trying to drink more tea. But I gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of tea. Um, I'm trying to become a fan of tea. I do drink a lot more water. I have been drinking a lot more water late recently. I have been cutting back my soda intake, but I'm still drinking soda. I'm having at least one a day, which I think is pretty good. The way you're supposed to wean yourself off stuff is not to just go cold turkey. You do it gradually over time. So I think one soda a day is pretty good. And hopefully eventually I can get down to like one soda every other day, maybe one soda a week, and then like no sodas at all. In fact, what I want to do is get myself to the point where I'm only drinking soda when I go somewhere that doesn't have like bottled water. So if I go to a restaurant, they don't have bottled water, I'll get a soda then. But if I can go somewhere they have uh, either tea or they have a uh, bottled water, I'm, I'm gonna get that. So anyway, guys, but we're not talking about soda today. We're talking about burgers. Because again, today is National Burger Day. So, all right, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. I'm gonna enjoy my burgers before they get too cold because I've been talking for like 10 minutes now. And uh, they're, they're not cold, they're good. <laughs> so, comments down below. Let me know. Are you enjoying a burger today? And if you are enjoying a burger today, where are you enjoying a burger from? Where is your favorite place your favorite fast food joint to get a hamburger from? Is it McDonald's? Is it Wendy's? Is it you know Big Boy? Is it Hardee's? Is it Burger King? Where's your favorite place, fast food wise, to get 
a hamburger. I want to know where where's your go to if you had to say like right now, fast food burger. Where would you go? Uh, I'm gonna go to. I would say Burger King. That's where I would go. Where would you go? Would you go to Burger King? Would you go somewhere else? Maybe you guys are having a burger today on National Burger Day, which you should. Definitely take a picture of yourself eating that burger, enjoying that hamburger, and hashtag, or well, tag me, hashtag whatever. What's with Dave today on Instagram? Tag me in that photo because I want to see you and your friends and your family or whoever enjoying some delicious burgers on National Burger Day. This is a wonderful, very warm Thursday. I'm gonna go because I'm kind of sitting in the sun right now. You with the AC on, the sun coming through the window is a little warm. I should have parked it over there in the shade, like two feet away. That would have been a heck of a lot smarter. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna go. So as always, thank you so much for checking out this video. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Check down below for all the different links, including Patreon, where if you do become a patron, you will get a monthly postcard sent to you from me um, on the road. Also check down below for a link to Spreadshirt, where you can get yourself What's With Dave Today t-shirts, proceeds, both from Spreadshirt and from Patreon. Do go to putting more gas in Vanabelle so we can go to fun, interesting places. There are a lot of fun, interesting places coming up over the next couple of months. We're gonna be going, once my son gets back into school, he actually starts school on Monday, so um, we're gonna be going to all kinds of cool, interesting places. Stay tuned for that. Uh, so um, that's it. Again, have a happy Thursday. Have a happy National Burger Day. And like I said, if you guys are eating a burger, take a photo, put it on Instagram, and tag me in that photo of you eating a burger. I wanna see you enjoying a wonderful burger like I am right now. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. If you subscribe, I will see you all tomorrow. All right, have a good one. Bye.